that you want to be sure you can actually justify is your reason for visit. Justifying your purpose for your visit, um, it's not just my daughter had a baby or my sister had a baby and I'm going there to help out. <laughs> why, why do you mean I want my visit? So when you're coming, I mean, if your child had a baby and you're coming to see your grandchild or you're coming to see your nephew or your nieces, first thing, if you're telling the you know, visa counselor that you're coming to help your daughter who had a baby, obviously that disqualifies you for the fact that that means you're taking the job of a U.S. citizen or somebody who actually has a permit to work. Because if your child had a baby and you're coming to help, that means you're taking somebody other job, somebody who legally has to work, who could be babysitting to get paid, you're taking them out of job. And the counselor is not going to offer you a visa to come and take somebody out of their job. So you're, you, you want, if you want to stand a chance to come and visit your daughter or your grandchild that was just born, you don't want to walk up to that window and they ask you the purpose of your visit because obviously they are going to ask you. And I will do another video just talking about some of the commonly asked questions. Uh, I, I will do another video about that. So when you walk up there, you don't want to talk about you coming to help your daughter or help your son who just had a baby. Because that means you are taking somebody out of work. And the terms of a visiting visa does not cover you working. If you're coming to the United States as a tourist on a visiting visa, you are not eligible to work. So you do not want to come and tell them that you're coming to help your baby or help your sister or your grandma or, you know, to take care of your grandma or to help your daughter who had a baby or to help your son who had a baby. No, that's not the purpose of a tourism visa. That means you're taking someone other work. So they're sorry. They're not going to grant you that visa. You have to be able to convince them that. Maybe your child has traveled for this whole number of years. You haven't seen them and they just had a baby. And this is an opportunity for you to come to be able to see them and see this baby and just spend some time with them and reconnect with your child or reconnect with your sibling. And you just took time off work. You have to be able to have that paperwork to, to prove that you're taking time off work to be, to come and just, you know, see the baby, spend some time with your family member and you have to return back to work. So these are some of the reasons people get denied when they get over there and they say, oh, uh, they, they didn't even ask me any other thing. They, they didn't even, all the papers I carry, they did not even ask for a yes, because you already disqualify yourself. So these are some of the things, these are some of the tips that I, I, I share on this channel to be able to help you and help any family member getting ready. So you want to check out the other videos for more of them. I don't want to make this video too long and boring. So I just do them in bits and pieces and check up my other platform. If you want to consider joining my Facebook group or just checking it up maybe at least every other day because I'm going to start back posting stuff in there. So yeah, that could be helpful to you. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to just subscribe to this channel, join the family because I mean, this, this is my goal to help you because I see how much money you pay. Every year, every two years, some people have to book that interview, just trying. And I know how difficult it is to raise those funds. I know how, how hard you work. I know how much you have to save to raise that money. So I've made it my duty to be able to help in whatever way I can to explain these things, that the tips and tricks that I know of, that I've read of, that I've proven to be able to help you. However way I can break it down to be able to help you, I'm here to do that. So even if you need one-on-one -on -one consultations to clarify some things that you need, just leave me an email. My email is always in my description. Or send me a message on Messenger and I'll be able to get back to you. And maybe we can do a research together on how we can be able to clarify your doubts or any questions that you have. So thank you very much again. And don't forget to subscribe, share the video. So that way, YouTube recommends it to other people who are interested in similar topic. Thank you again, guys, and I wish you a very blessed day. And like always, 
Be grateful for everything and eager for nothing. And I love you, my friend.